And finally, a look at the environmental impact multinational companies, may, many based here in the Bay Area, have in China. Laura Seidel, NPR's digital culture correspondent, has our story. China, the most populous country in the world with more than 1.3 billion people, is well known as a major manufacturing hub for many Silicon Valley-based high-tech companies. But this great industrial boom has come with a cost. Environmental degradation of air and water quality has led to dangerous health conditions. Hundreds of millions of Chinese people are exposed to polluted air. Many don't have access to safe drinking water with rivers contaminated by runoff of heavy metals from manufacturing. Some American companies have pressured suppliers to cut costs by ignoring environmental standards. Former investigative journalist Ma Jun has witnessed these problems firsthand. He's been on the front lines bringing these issues into the public eye, most recently through his organization, the Institute of Public and Environmental Affairs. By tracking pollution throughout the country, Ma has been able to work with the Chinese government and multinational corporations to clean up their act. I spoke with Ma Jun when he was in town recently to receive a Goldman Environmental Award. I thought a lot of people here may not really understand the scope of the environmental problem that China faces, one which you yourself first discovered as a journalist and then moved on to realize you needed to do something about it. What was it you saw that made you think, I have to do something? During the 1990s, uh, mid-90s, and uh, I had the chance to travel to different parts of China, what I saw is this uh, um, massive industrialization going on. But in the meantime, our ecosystem is being uh, impacted. And so we, at that time, some uh, in the northern part of China, many rivers have run dry, uh, uh, including the, uh, the, the mighty Yellow River. And in the south, uh, there are quite some cities uh, which have uh, crisscrossing rivers and lakes, but they still, people don't have access to uh, sufficient safe drinking water because water got too much contaminated. And did you realize it really, the potential for a drinking water crisis because you already saw people having trouble getting water? Were you seeing people getting sick? Yeah, I saw uh, those uh, water sources get uh, so much contaminated and, uh, and uh, through research we found it's not just uh, uh, normal pollutants, but also some of the toxics. Some some of the uh, some of them can lead to uh, some diseases like cancer, and um, and we actually saw uh, in some regions uh, uh, the uh, uh, you know villages with uh, excessive high rate of, uh, of of certain diseases. I I came to the conclusion that uh, the uh, the problem you know the environmental. Uh, uh, challenge is so big, and uh, unless we got extensive public participation, uh, we will not be able to solve the problem. But they, uh, but people need to be informed before they can get involved uh, effectively. So we need to give them information. So you began to collect information, often from companies that were supplying American companies. Uh, yes, because China is not just ma manufacturing to meet the rising demand of its own people, but it's also the factory of the world. So uh, while China's man export all these cheap products, all the waste got dumped in our own backyards, contaminating the the air, the water, the co coastal seas and soil and aquifer. I think one uh, negative dynamic is that all these major brands, when they came to China to do all this sourcing, it's always about knocking down the price. Uh -huh. So in some way, they drive the suppliers to cut corners on environmental standards to try to win their contract. And, uh, and that's uh, obviously causing a lot of a bad impact on the environment and local communities. Have companies gotten any better? I, I seem to recall that Apple was particularly bad initially. Are they, are they any better? Are you able to work with them now? Yeah, for about a year and a half, we would not be able to make any progress. You know, they just simply say we don't uh, disclose. And uh, uh, even with the specific cases of, uh, of uh, you know, pollution and poisoning. But then uh, over the past uh, half a year, uh, things have changed. You know, they finally approached uh, the NGOs and try to uh, try to uh, communicate on um, all these issues. I guess a, a question probably in a lot of people's minds is, should we feel guilty about our products? Is there something we can do on this side? 
back home Apple products is also extremely popular. You know, many of my my friends they're also the uh, Apple users. To, to them, my message is always uh, you know that uh, using them is not a problem. You know, we we're using IT products every day. You know, uh, not just for our for, uh, for for the enjoyment of our life, but also for our work. You know, with right. our work is all uh, based on this uh, I, IT technology. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, creating this database. You know, doing all this. Uh, You're using it too, right? Every day. So 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 the the issue is not about that. You know, we we need to stop using all these uh, uh, devices. Uh, but uh, but the issue is about we need to recognize there's uh, a downside. There's a there's a big impact uh, caused by the manufacturing of all these products. You know, especially when the life cycle of these uh, products mm -hmm. is getting shorter and shorter. Right. Yeah. So so the impact is getting much larger. So if we care about this issue, then we could make our vo voice heard. You know, we mm -hmm. could express ourselves to those brands. So you know, to show them, demonstrate to them that as a consumer, I care about this issue. Uh, I want the brands to honor their commitment uh, to not to use polluters as uh, suppliers. Ma Jun, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you, Laura.